Hi, this is Steve from McGuire Organics. Today I have Hunter to help me out with harvesting the stackable flow through. Um, I flipped the bins um, about a week ago to for the bottom bin vermicompost to dry out. So it'll be a lot easier to put it through um, the grate system here. So you, I can put it right through and not have to really push, really push down on it. So what me and Hunter are going to do is that we're going to take some handfuls. Go ahead. Of a used vermicompost. And you're going to probably find a worm. Hunter, here you go. You can hold them. And we're going to separate the total finished vermicompost with the stuff that's not done yet. This is about, I would say, about 85 to 90 percent done. So this is um. I am not alive. He's alive. He's moving around. Look. See. Yeah. So you don't want this to be totally wet because then it's it's like um, mud and does not go I through. Found you found another worm? Mm -hmm. Okay, pick him up. Okay. There you go. Here, hold him. You're you're the worm holder, okay? Oh, another one. Yep. Okay, be careful with him. If it's too wet, then it's not going to go, the, the uh, finished vermicompost is not going to go through at all. And believe me, I've, I've done it. I waited, I wasn't patient, I put, tried to put it through, and it's, it's an absolute mess like that. Hunter, here's another one. Thanks. Uh-huh. So... Hard to put it in the middle, okay? So this can take um, up up to a few hours if if you don't have it dry enough, or it could take a half hour, which I think this is probably going to take us. Now I'm just I'm not going to do this whole bit in front on the camera. There's no really need for that, but I, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to, me and Hunter are going to do a few um, handfuls. I'm going to get a good amount of it. Good job, buddy. In the, uh, in the tote that I have sitting on the bottom here. And I will show you Exactly. There you go. What you should be looking for. This the system is very easy. I took uh don't push it down, Hunter, just move it like this. You're a okay. This is still a little bit on the wetter side than what I'd like it, but it's not bad at all. Um uh, sorry. Good job, buddy. Look for those worms. Um, th this is a two by four by by eight feet. Um, so I had them just cut in in quarters. Um, drilled it in, into a square, and then stapled um, a quarter inch hardware cloth to the bottom of it. And it makes a great sifter. This is my second one. The first one I made three or four years ago, and uh, the beginning of the spring, it just looked like it was going to fall apart. So I, I went to Lowe's and bought the wood. I already had the had the hardware cloth. Do you see a worm anywhere? No. Nope. So that's. 
how to make it and it's very easy to do. I have a five gallon bucket right here to catch all the stuff that wasn't able to be composted or uh, finished and eaten up. So I can keep it totally separated. Here's another one, bud. Yeah, here. You hold on to the worms, bud. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they are, they do tickle, don't they? Mm -hmm. Hey, here's a big one. Wow. He's big. Yeah, he is big. Come on. And I got some babies here. Yeah, babies. Hunter, how old are you? Four. You're four. And where are you going to go? What kind of school are you going to? Preschool. Preschool. Yep. Hunter's starting preschool in a couple days. Come on. Come yeah. So, oh, here's another one, bud. Are they one from here? They might be. Let's see. No. Okay, so let's show them the, the finished vermicompost, okay? So, what we're going to do, we're going to put this down, just like that. And this is what it's where it should look like. Nice and crumbly. They're going to be little pieces of, um... Yeah, that's good. Put it back. Put it down. There's going to, probably going to be some unprocessed, um, paper and stuff in there, which is fine. It'll just break down in time and eventually you'll get uh -huh. you will you will definitely have a worm hunter but you'll have a nice yeah. micro yeah. Uh, based vermicompost uh -huh. out of your bin uh -huh. for, and you, worms. for worms definitely for me for the garden. So that's how it is. Cool. Um. Oh, by the way, if you look to to right of the website, there's sign up for for the blog post by email and the newsletter of McGuire Organics. So make sure you go over there and um, put your email address and your name for the and sign up for the newsletter and just put your email address in for the blog uh, model um, for the blog post by email. So you can keep up on up to, to date of what's going on. Okay? I will see you soon. Say bye.